the biggest solar storm in 20 years that has hit the Earth. These powerful solar flares can have a significant impact on our planet and technology. Some of the key consequences include disruptions to satellite communications, power grid failures, and increased radiation exposure for astronauts and airline passengers. We'll dive deeper into these issues and more in the video. So stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The Earth has been struck by the biggest solar storm in 20 years, but astronomers are still on high alert because a massive sunspot resembling the one that devastated the USA 200 years ago is forming. Within minutes, the storms could cause communications and electricity grids to become paralyzed or deliver dazzling auroras. On May 11, 2024, Elon Musk voiced his concerns and disclosed the strain the previous solar storm had placed on his satellite system. Starlink satellites were struck by a powerful flood of solar particles that pushed functioning and load measurements to their absolute limits. Our communications and electrical systems were at risk because the protective mechanisms were overworked. Technology, particularly local internet and mobile networks, could be totally overwhelmed or destroyed by a possible storm. A calamity might also result from hundreds or even thousands of trash spacecraft floating in space. The ability of the world's most advanced satellites, Starlings, to resist solar storms is being tested. For a long time, experts have warned of a single catastrophic storm that is approaching and would test our entire civilization. Particle streams from the sun that collide with Earth's magnetic field produce particle streams in addition to the breathtaking light displays known as auroras. The Earth's magnetic field traps electromagnetically charged particles, which are then held in magnetic deposits above the poles. Particles are kept from entering the atmosphere's deeper layers by the Earth's magnetic field. Particles are therefore shifted up and down within the depot until their charge runs out. Auroras, often known as polar lights, were seen farther south in the Northern Hemisphere and in the Southern Hemisphere due to the largest solar storm in 20 years. Auroras can sparkle in orange, blue, purple, green, and occasionally red. According to experts, these storms should last for a while, giving us the chance to see either a dramatic return to normal or more severe problems. A powerful torrent of particles that the sun can release at any time and reach Earth in 20 to 30 minutes. Sunspots, also known as coronal mass ejections, are transient regions of the Sun's surface that look darker because of their lower temperature. These regions are what cause these powerful outbursts. Strong magnetic activity within the Sun is the cause of these regions. It suppresses convection processes, resulting in temperature decreases and high forces. In a matter of seconds, this might result in the blasting of particles into space and the discharge of massive amounts of energy. Focus is especially on the sunspot group known as AR3664, which around the start of May 2024 forms a massive eclipse composed of 16 smaller sunspots. Elon Musk's satellites are disrupted by powerful solar storms caused by a solar spot that is 15 times larger than our globe. In just one week, Arkansas 3664 has produced 10 X-class and 75 MAG-class flares, with the X-class flares being the strongest. An X1.6 flare was seen on May 3, 2024, and it was followed by multiple other X-class flares, including a powerful X4.5 flare. Larger coronal mass ejections are caused by the massive numbers of particles released by these eruptions, which can travel to Earth in a matter of minutes. At its height, solar activity occurs during the 11-year solar cycle. Scientists are concerned about the current maximum since it is occurring earlier than planned, and they anticipate the most violent X-class flares. Therefore, everything is wrong with the Sun. And based on AR3664's recent activity, it's even possible that the Sun's magnetic fields are reversing which might result in geomagnetic storms that are even more violent and frequent. The most recent major solar storms, dubbed the Halloween storms of 2003, had G5 intensity and disrupted satellite communications and power supply globally. Communications auroras were even visible in areas like Florida and Mexico, and predictions over the upcoming weeks 
suggest that AR 3664 may bring a storm similar to those that occurred in 2003. Thus, we must be ready. For the time being, the position is pointing away from Earth, keeping us safe. But soon AR 3664 will turn back towards Earth potentially bringing with it another season of severe geomagnetic storms. As a result, we must closely monitor this sunspot group to reduce any potential effects on the Earth and its technological infrastructure. In 1859, sparks were shot from telegraph poles. Imagine waking up in the morning and seeing the sky as if it were on fire. This was the Carrington event, named for British astronomer Richard Carrington and it was the strongest solar storm in modern history. It happened from August 28th to September 2nd, 1859. This was likely the first time that the astronomers had seen a solar flare, when on the morning of September 1st, 1859, Carrington and his colleague Richard Hudson independently noticed an exceptionally bright flash for white light on the sun's surface. The solar flare was part of a massive sunspot region, which triggered strong geomagnetic storm activity, and the coronal mass ejection reached Earth in about 17.6 hours. This rapid arrival was caused by the ejection's enormous speed and energy. People all over the world witnessed the impact of the extraordinary geomagnetic storms, which produced breathtaking auroras that were seen in North America and Europe. The telegraph, the most sophisticated form of communication at the time, was severely disrupted by the Carrington Incident in 1859. Equipment was damaged and fires broke out as a result of sparks flying from cables and setting the surroundings on fire. While certain telegraph systems were shut down, others continued to function without electricity. There was enough solar storm energy to power some items adequately. While significant, the effects on technology in 1859 paled in comparison to the threats facing modern society. Our technologically dependent society would suffer greatly from a comparable incident if it had happened today. Trillions of dollars worth of economic loss would be estimated, and satellites, power grids, GPS systems, and communication infrastructures would all be destroyed. The Carrington incident shows that kernel mass ejections and solar storms are not dangerous to people or the environment. Due to strong magnetic activity on the surface of the sun, which causes solar flares, they happen nearly every day. These flares have the potential to grow into greater coronal mass ejections, which would cause the sun to suddenly erupt in a brilliant flash of energy. The Carrington incident demonstrates that issues arise from our technology, not from the storm itself. These intense storms are probably hundreds in number that Earth has seen, and our technology is to blame for these issues. In contrast, coronal mass ejections, or CMEs for short, eject large clouds of magnetized plasma that typically reach Earth within a few hours or days. In 1859, the energy produced by the CME was so great that the Earth was reached by the plasma cloud in less than 20 minutes making this an exceptionally rare event. However, we must expect this kind of unusual stream of particles to hit us again at any time. This energy is composed of light and high energy particles and can be put out as a small burst within a few minutes, as well as such a flare can drift out into space for hours. Protons, electrons, and heavy ions make up particle streams, which are ubiquitous and influence space weather, the heliosphere, and our climate. The heliosphere, which surrounds us and shields the solar system from interstellar cosmic rays, is made up of these charged particles. Life could not exist without these particles. We must preserve and advance our technological capabilities if we are to shield ourselves from these dangerous natural occurrences. Although many networks and devices are obsolete and more prone to failure in the event of a major storm, Modern satellites and power grids are built to be extra resistant to space storms and flares. In order to defend against solar storms and other natural occurrences, governments throughout the world are attempting to advance these technology. Electricity firms are developing new solutions to defend their power plants, substations, and grids from possible attacks. One famous instance of a storm that shut down the entire electricity grid was the geomagnetic storm that struck Canada in 1989. 
The solar radiation that might cause major malfunctions in space and destroy electronic components is mostly directed towards Earth orbiting satellites. Such storms are feared by NASA and Musk because even small mishaps might have fatal consequences.